Hey guys, Jack here, and in this video today, I just want to help you guys out because Google has recently changed their analytics system, so the old universal tracking IDs uh, currently aren't really easy to get to, and today I want to show you how you can get to them because most websites aren't supporting the new features of Google Analytics, and it's hard to integrate uh, Google Analytics into plenty of websites because of this new update on the Google side. So today I wanna to show you how you can access the old universal tracking ID and I hope I can get you sorted and ready to go just in a few minutes. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to create a new property and to get to this page, you go to the bottom left here where the, on your Google Analytics dashboard and you click admin or if you're creating an account, it'll, op, it'll ask you to create a new property so you don't actually have to do this. However, you when you go to admin, you wanna click this button right here, create property. And as you can see, this is different um, from even a few weeks ago. So this new way of creating a property, um, it's asking you for a name and all this, but this won't produce a UA code. And what we want to do is produce a UA code so we can use the universal tracking ID on all the other websites that still support it. So in order to get to the UA code, all we have to do actually is if we unclick this it, you'll see the show advanced options tab and you want to click it and you want to check it and then you can put in a website here for example we'll just put in uh, YouTube or you want to put in your website obviously and then you can either create both uh, the new version of Google Analytics and the universal application or just the universal application I'm just going to do the universal analytics uh, property code only so if you want a UA code and you want to do uh, exactly what you've been doing for your past websites with the UA code then click this button and then go next and then here you can obviously click all your options it doesn't really matter that much however um, once you do this you can click create and then you will see you have a property with a UA code so there you go that's simple that's all you have to do and you can use UA code still in the new Google Analytics update. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and see you guys in the next video.